Bucket Builders, Andy is your here and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. This is for a 9x9 nine nine mini house. Should be quick and easy to build, fairly straightforward materials, apart from maybe the flag you could make a bit simpler. Down here there is a basement. It is not spacious, but it is a 9x9 nine nine house, so what do you what do you think you're gonna get? But it is private, it is yours, it's under your house, and it's pretty useful. In here, we have a main living area, complete with andesite walls. And then upstairs, we have a much bigger area with lots of space for chests and beds and crafting areas. Even enchanting areas could probably be squeezed in. Through here, there is another balcony and then you can go further up to, to maybe launch your elytra flights up here we have a tower as well what do you think okay so what we're going to do is build this one here which is free from decoration it will be up to you to put on all the vines and berries and lanterns and whatnot but i will give you some tips towards the end so to do this you're going to need a nine by nine area like this one here here are the ingredients for building i will uh, just dig out this square and that's our first task digging out all this grass in fact in between the yellow bits we're going to dig this out as well this is where the walls are going to be and keep on going another level to dig out how fast can you do it i have my uh, right and left mouse buttons switched over anyone else do that so it's my ring finger that's actually destroying these blocks on the mouse kind of unusual i haven't met anyone else that does that maybe one 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 other person um okay so we definitely need to run these blocks pretty much everywhere along the bottom and then we're going to form little gaps like that not here this one's actually going to form the staircase so the staircase into this place it's going to be right here and then we'll put a little uh, surround to that staircase there this bit comes along here like this pretty straightforward huh what were we doing we were doing these windows weren't we I nearly forgot so little gaps for the basement windows that becomes completely solid doing this quite quickly I will put pictures and uh, other helping aids into my patreon post if you uh, would like extra instructions on how to build these lots of screenshots for example i'll be putting that into the patreon post um we will need hmm, a floor i guess what do you like to make your floors out of i just prefer a bit of stone and the site's quite good a stone and the site mixture is very good as well slap in your floor polished and the site you got polished and the site makes a very fancy floor maybe that's too fancy for our teeny tiny little basement here in this cute nine by nine house okay let's get rid of the yellow blocks now we kind of know where all these spots should be and that is the bottom floor nearly finished we're going to put in a door there and surround it by some trap doors like that and we'll have a door across here as well like that into that kind of separate storeroom okay cool now we need to carry on up the way so we need to find the middle and we're going to place a block right there 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 it was all the middles all the middles this one can come across like that stone bricks so these are stone bricks and stone brick stairs did i forget to mention that i'm not sure <laughs> maybe uh surround the windows the windows are going to be made of iron bars so let's go and grab a few iron bars thank you very much iron bar iron bar iron bar 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 like that uh, above this door here let's place um upside down stair like that and then a few more trap doors like that i'll just spin the camera around so you get a good idea of what we've been doing so far we need a couple of upside down stone brick stairs here and here and then we can start to form our 
staircase. The staircase up and into this place goes a bit like this. That's how it would be formed. Um, we are going to need to grab this block again and this block. We need some chiseled blocks in the corners and in the middles. Corners and middles. Surround your windows again. Stone bricks. And then zip this bit up here as well. We're all the way across and just there. Right above the windows, stone brick stairs. And we'll put some stone brick stairs in just here and here to make a little partition there following our five by five building system. To finish off our little staircase, we're going to need a couple of slabs just there like that. And I need to grab a wall block like this stone wall goes here and here. And we've got spruce fence gates in between just like that. Couple of spruce trap doors just to protect our staircase. And if you want to be fancy, you can do them here and there. And that's our little staircase up and into the build. But of course, we would fall down into it if we didn't have Ocus Slabus. Do you have any different names for blocks? Like I've got Trapidorus Maximus. That's what I call trap trapdoors. <laughs> Ocus Slabus. If you've got any pet names for blocks, let me know in the down below. Next, we're going to build the main tower. And the structure of this tower really needs to be, I don't know, quite pernickety. I don't know, quite fussy with this tower, actually. So this is uh, one to pay attention on. So let's count up with stone bricks, another 11 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. Same over here. And in this corner, same, up to 11 in height. Uh, we do want to make this block a little bit different. I'm actually going to make it out of andesite. And we're going to go for a count of four. One, two, three, four, like that, of andesite. But then we're going to go back to stone brick and just bring it right up to the top. Just there, 11. Okay, here we go. Um, so we're on this side again. We're going to put in um, a couple of stone bricks. And then actually these can just get alternated all the way up like that. Stone brick and stone all the way to the top. Like so. And the windows are going to be formed of stone stairs, one like that and one like that. And it makes like an arrow slit. Normal stone block on top and then our second window like that facing a different direction gives you kind of alternate facing arrow slits. And then we simply use um, stone just to fill in the rest of that side there. Now we can go to this side. Now, if you want to be dead sneaky, you can replace this block with stone stairs. If you want, you could do that around here as well. And I think that looks really rather cool if you do that. So there's an optional extra for you. These are all going to be stone. And again, we're going to alternate here between stone bricks and stone. Let's grab the stone, run it in here. <clears throat> And again, on this one, we're going to go for a couple of windows. <clears throat> um, we're going to start this one a little bit higher than the one around the corner. So I think it's a block higher. That's fine. doesn't matter too much where you put the windows. And then we'll go there and there. One more block there of stone. And then face the window a different direction. And finish off the rest with stone like so. Cool. Right, what do we have on this side here? Well, we're going to put in some spruce logs coming across here like that. And we can have spruce come up the middle as well. This is going to form our staircase, which I'll put in boop, a little bit later on. 
Um, okay, so what do we have here? So let's go from top to bottom, I guess. We want to leave a gap of three here. One, two, three. So there's the gap of three we want to leave. So we're going to do that. And that leaves that gap there in the right place. Bring that up. Um, alternate, alternate. Nope. Yes, that's right. Alternate, 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 alternate. That looks good. Around this corner, we're going to go just straight across here and form a little archway with our famous upside down stone brick stairs. Don't know why I called them famous. I just did right there. Kind of embarrassed now. Let's finish this off with some stone like this. And I think we'll just go stone brick across there. It's not the most perfect system, but it's kind of working. Let's finish off the top of the tower. Stone brick stairs in the corners and in the middle. Upside down, of course. And in between them, cute little Sprusa Trapidoris Maximus. And on top of the upside down stairs, we've got stone brick blocks. And in between all them, spruce fence. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. We can put a little flag on top. One, two, three. Now I used um, this block here, crimson hyphae. Obviously some red wool would be fine. Whatever you've got lying about to make a flag. I wouldn't be too fussy about your flag. But if you've gone to the nether, why does that sit like that? Maybe this should be, hmm. ah, that block should be there. And this one should be further up by one. I knew that. No one saw that, right? I think I got away with that. Little flag on top. There we go. Should we put on a little bit of andesite and we can move on with our lives? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like so. Pretty good. Let's go back to Spruce Logland. That sounds like a that sounds like a good theme park. That'd be a forest theme park. Welcome to Spruce Logland, where all your logs are huge. Probably that's not going to be the slogan. Stick to making YouTube videos and not making up slogans for theme parks. There we go. These are going to form the back balcony and the front balcony. So we've got them all correct so far. What should we do? Let's pick off easy jobs. So easy jobs would be spruce stairs underneath the balcony legs. That's right. Balconies have got legs. And then oak slabs to form the actual balconies. Actually. Boop, boop, boop. Like that. Looking pretty smart. Um, okay, now we need some of this stuff, which is beautiful. This is andesite wall, andesiodesite wall. That's what I said. And we put a glass pane in that as well. We have another one around here. You could use stained uh, panes if you wished. Other things look good there as well, like that looks pretty good as well. You can put all sorts of things. Iron bars look pretty smart as well. It is up to you. The choice is yours. This is looking great, everybody. Well done if you managed to follow along so far. Now, above that andesite wall and above that andesite wall, I believe we have got this block here, which is stripped birch log. So we'll just check on that. Yes, stripped birch log. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. Great. Weirdly, we're going to put three here. One, two, three. All right, to finish this floor, it is slightly complicated, so we're going to have to put our concentration faces on. Have you got your concentration face on? First of all, start off with easy jobs. We've got um, oak in there, oak in there, and oak there. Oak, K. Uh, let's go with stripped birch log here, like that, and then back to oak. 
cool that was all the easy jobs right now slightly more complicated we're going to go down here with spruce stairs and they're going to be level with this one here we're doing these ones just here so it is stair 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 spruce upside down stairs and then spruce slabs just there like so grab yourself some stripped birch logs and we're going to go for a count of three one two three with weirdly some decorative anvils in between <laughs> don't ask okay uh round here something quite similar so it's upside down spruce stairs one two three like that all right and then in between them again we're going to go for some spruce slabs just like that right this is where you really have to hold on to your underpants because we're going to do something kind of weird we're going to go do, do, do. do you know what this 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 block is starting to offend me is it really there <laughs> Yeah, that block belongs there. It was just, a, just just checking. We need to do that, but then turn this one round so it faces that way. And then a slab underneath. This is going to form our support for this corner. Uh, same deal over here. We do one, two, and then turn this one round. And then we put a slab underneath. You could put another stair underneath, but it makes it a little bit tricky to get up here. It is doable, but we thought that finished it off quite nicely all right we need to extend this with slabs like that okay and keep on going with these slabs along here one two three four like so on top of this corner we're going to put weirdly a smoker just for a bit of a decorative block and a smoker there as well. We'll just double check that's in the right place. Yep, that looks good. Surrounding the smoker, we're going to go for a couple of trap doors and same on this one. Oak trap doors this time. Need some upright stripped birch. One, two, three. And then decorative um, anvils right in the middle. And then we've got spruce fence gates here and here. Yeah, definitely a bit of an odd section to the build. Um, here, we're going to go with a more stripped birch log here and here and one more anvil. And then we're going to leave that space there for something decorative. I think I put a plant there. What did I put there? Yeah, I put a little plant pot with a fungus in it. That's going to go into that square a little bit later on now there is one block which i mustn't forget this detail polished black stone um i just put them up time to get the upper living quarters looking good so we're going to go two one two three four one two three four five one two three four one two like so uh, around this corner we're going to miss a gap i'm going to go two like that and we'll stick a door in there upside down oak stairs just there I'm not liking that andesite very much hmm should we make a little change I, I think that should be did I do it like that yeah I had it as stripped but I think they should be solid spruce going right into the build same here I don't think this matters very much but just for completeness just keeps me happy okay shush stop complaining right uh oak stairs here 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 and here couple of window panes with oakus stairs above us um yeah let's have oak trap door sticking out there and there <clears throat> as well spruce trap door ab above it like so that is starting us to get the structure ready let's put on the star of our roof so solid block there solid block there and we're going to go for three spruce stairs two the right way up and one upside down same on both sides then it's over to slab land can i have a slab please thank you very much one two one two one two 
one, two. And then it's four blocks. One, two, three, four. And we get that beautiful, beautiful shape, just like that. Coming around to this side here, we can put on another couple of <clears throat> spruce stairs. And we can keep these spruce stairs going all the way along the build. Do you know what's annoying? Is that window is now it's doing a thing. We can't we can't do that, can we? We could you could do that, or you could move your window up by a block. I think we might move the window up by a block. It's the kind of thing that bothers me. Might not bother you. Upside down, upside down to turn and frame the door. And then we do that, that, that frames the door even more. I wonder if my door is slightly in the wrong place. I think it is. The door should go there. Yeah. Yeah, it should go there. Uh, upside down. No, correct the way upstairs there with a spruce slab. Just like that. And there we go. Our frame starting to continue. Round this corner, we're going to join this on to this roof. So we could do a little bit of preparatory work here. Spruce planks there. Another thingy there. Staircase. And then that goes there. And then we'll go for one, two, one, two, one, two. That seems to make sense to me. Let me just double check that that is correct. Ooh, we are sticking it out by one. <laughs> what a mistake to make out. Two, two, two with one on top. <gasps> we need to stick it out by one. So stick it out. Boop, boop, boop. And then it's one, two, one, two, one, two with one on the top. So this bit in here needs to get deleted. There you go, because that is going to be oak wood. Right, let's turn around to this side, and this is where we're going to have the rest of our frame. Let's start over here with two, one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Let's get all these birches done. Another one there, another one there. Good, good, good. And then here we're gonna go four there and four here. And we'll put another door in between. Great. Uh, let's do a little bit of roofage here, I guess. So we need to definitely put this block in the correct place. Once that's in the correct place, we are laughing. Three stairs again. And then it's over to slabs. One, two, one, two. And then one to finish off there like that right uh we are going to need some more oak stairs for this section here so we've got oak and oak leave a gap of two for windows like that another oak trapdoor on the outside and then spruce trapdoor just there and that kind of matches what we've got there and there all right, great. Let's finish off our spruce work. So bring this spruce across another couple of blocks and then turn that one. Um, bring this across a couple of blocks and turn that one, that one. That's the correct way up. And this one's gonna be upside down turned again. That's starting to frame our door and starting to frame our windows. So usual frame. Like that, same across here. An upside down block. And a slab behind. And now we're ready to go crazy with oak. Um, we have a couple of blocks to finish off here. Oak stairs upside down there and there. Perfect. And oak trap door sticking out there. And then you guessed it, either side of that, some little spruce trap doors and believe it or not we're actually nearly finished now i think in here i put some some of these Ooh, 
Should we do a staircase while we've got lots of light? So let's place that block there and a spruce slab and we can keep on going until we get to the top of this building. So the slab is in line with the staircase and the staircase turns the corner for us. Keep on going until you are at the very top. I don't think you can place that block, can you? No, <laughs> bump your head. There we go. If you want to be fancy, you could do something like that to stop you falling down. I'm bumping my head and it's annoying on the flag. I don't think I bothered doing that on the prototype, did I? I just let people fall down the stairs. That is optional. <laughs> All right, what's left to do? What is left to do? I wonder, I wonder. Let's grab oak stairs and we're gonna need some oak slabs. And this bit really just builds itself. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Told you, just builds itself. Same sort of thing across here. One, two, three. One, and then slabs. Do, 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 do. And this one. And that one comes across. Let's double check. I'm pretty sure we're finished. How did I miss this wall? Are you kidding me? Uh, I missed th oh, just three walls away from finishing and the staircase. <laughs> Ah, let's do the staircase first. So we need another slab just there, another stair. <laughs> All set to go home. No, you're not. You got three walls to finish. There, and a staircase there. Beautiful staircase design. Sarasven is our resident staircase expert. Everything else is looking pretty good in here. I think we're, we're pretty good to go. Just begging out for a chest in there, isn't it? Um, yeah, let's head back downstairs. Oh, we've got to do some... Oh, my goodness. We've got a few things to do. Some surrounds on the balcony. Right. Another wall there. Another wall here. With a window. And a window. Uh, we need solid blocks of oak to come up here like that i'm just going to use a whole bunch of slabs and then oak upside down stairs there and that's where you can start to place your door it is up to you whether you do that and that it can make it a little bit difficult to walk through it's not too bad if you aim properly but yeah it looks pretty good if you do if you do do that if you do do that yeah anyway down the stairs, check out the basement. It's looking pretty cool. Don't forget to add in lights like that would be a good place. Maybe one in the corner. Plenty of light, like so. What else did I do for detail on this build? Well, I definitely put some trapdoors on here. And here, and that completes our balcony at the front, same at the back. Careful aiming was needed. Cozy balconies, cute little tower, nine by nine build. <gasps> No one saw this gap, right? Nobody saw this gap. Um, quickly, no one saw it, right? Tell me if you didn't see it in the comments. There we go. Does that even make sense? Yep, that's looking good to me. 
I think we are finished. What did I do for detailing? Ooh, there's one little detail I did do. It was that oak stairs there. What do you think? Is that cool? I think it's quite good. Quite happy with that. That would be too much. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, detailing, detailing, detailing. Have yourself some fun with chains, lanterns, glow berries, vines, some plants. <laughs> Dead bubbly coral fan sticking out. Looks like fungus growing on the wood. Add in some oak leaves. I actually cheated a little bit and cut right into the build with some of these oak leaves just to make them sit a little bit better. Whatever leaves you've got, I've got hanging baskets here made of simple trapdoors and bushes. I've got fungus in pots to add a splash of colour. Love that detail. <gasps> There's definitely something I didn't do. This one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm glad I, I, glad I didn't forget that. Glad I didn't forget that. There we go. Um, I think that's all the detail. Pretty much just vines and more vines. <laughs> oh, a couple of banners in there just to set things off. If that was too easy, too small, why don't you take on this one, my most complicated tutorial ever. And the link is popping up now so you can see that one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you.